behalf of the Office for Contemporary Art Norway, also known as OCA, I would like to introduce the program of lectures, The State of Things, and today's renowned speaker, Jacques Rancière, under the rubric of Norway's official representation for this edition of the Venice Biennial. When we began to discuss ideas about possible exhibition presentations for Venice 2011, short of two years ago, it was unavoidable for us to reflect on what could constitute a country's representation in such a visual platform, given the political, economic, and philosophical climate of our time. One less ambitiously diagnosed and prescribed and lodged within a kind of holding pattern of the eventual and open-ended. With the world accel accelerating into a Fukushima syndrome of sorts, we have the option to see events against a metaphorical backdrop of the indeterminable and the inevitable, a perspective that propels us into the potential of absolute deniability. Instead, we can decide to evaluate this very state of things as practitioners within the field bracketed by the biennial. We can then ask, as practitioners within the field, what is it that we regard as aesthetically and critically valuable at this point of time, and why are we even doing what we do, repeating these set patterns and rituals? In this respect, the state of things is an invitation to consider both within and outside the frame of art and aesthetics as a kind of Mallarmean attempt to roll the dice, as a, as a way to highlight the ambiguities on a more abstract level, rethinking our approaches not for the sake of the new, not for the sake of the innovative, but for the sake of understanding the very ruptures and lack of coherence that we find ourselves in. In our search for a model of national representation, we looked back into the history to understand how the political behavior of the state might migrate to the field of art. We found in Norway's history a tradition of neutral political mediation and in the example of Friedrich Nansen, an explorer who created a passport that functioned as an instrument to provide the possibility of migration and movement for refugees, those who were seemingly entrapped. Within this in mind, we introduced the state of things, a program including five speakers this week, Jacques Rancière this afternoon, Leo Bersani tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. in the same space, Vandana Shiva on Thursday, on Friday morning, and Jan Egelin following in this same space, and Fawaz Gerges at the Aula Mania in, um, in Newark. And five more speakers throughout the Biennale period into November, A.L. Weissman, Judith Butler, Franco Berardi, Saskia Sassen, and closing with T.J. Clark. Each of them will be proposing individual departures on how to think about present dissonances as a way to help us consider how the field of art and aesthetics could remain an emancipatory front. They will all be speaking at leading academic and research facilities here and throughout Venice. It's important to remark that together with these lecturers, Nori's representation in the Venice Biennial also includes a different program led by the artist Bjarne Melgard in cooperation with the Faculty of Arts and Design at the UF University and its director, Angela Vitese. We set up a master's program during the spring with Melgard as a visiting professor. He has been leading a course entitled Beyond Death, Viral Discontents and Contemporary Notions About AIDS, in which one of the key issues affecting the world today, the AIDS crisis, has been tackled from the perspective of artistic, cultural, and activist practice. 